the, my motivation comes from my love for Jaywick and how if I don't do it, who else would do it? And I mean, it doesn't take a lot of effort to come out and make films about things that bother you and obviously the rest of the people that live here. This is an iconic building to Jaywick. It's been here since I was born. And in my lifetime, it has been shut down and I see it deteriorate and it breaks my heart. This could be turned into a youth centre. This could be turned into a social club. It could be turned into a B&B for the homeless. It could be used for so many things. But what is it being used for? And someone has to pay for it. Not Nothing. No, but we would pay for it. We would, we would raise the money for a charity and we could utilise this. But they have other plans. Other people have brought it and they're going to turn it into flats, which is all good. I'm not saying it's bad. But it's just sad to see an iconic building be tore down when I could use it for social problems, social needs, and most definitely for people that are homeless. I know three or four people that are homeless right now. And that would be ideal, wouldn't it? So there are a lot of people that are homeless now? Not so many here, because there's not a lot of infrastructure, but there's a lot of people homeless in England. Yeah. And I'm sure that we could attract people here if there was something for them. But, you know, we've got to start somewhere. There is things going on, but the money is so tight in our country. Everything's been scrapped, everything's been cut down. But people like me are community leaders and we pay from our own pockets and we get donations through our films. What do you think? People are even coming here because they know you, no? Of course. Other, other cities in, in England are even from abroad. People are coming from all over Europe, all over the world, because they know that I am trying to make a difference. And the more publicity we get, it's got to be good publicity. What do you think of it, the Mermaid Inn ladies? Can you imagine this in its heyday? No, Let me tell you a memory. Really. Do you have a picture maybe? I've got a memory, look. It, see them doors? That was, that was the entrance there, yeah? And in the heyday, there used to be a man called Sid. He used to sell jacket potatoes. And he used to cook them outside. And when it, when it, when it shut at two in the morning, I used to hack, gather around me and my young friends, me, Butch, and my other friends, and he used to give us a free jacket potato. And all the people would be coming out drunk, saying, Oi, don't, don't get drunk, don't do this. And that it, was the centre, like the, the no, heart of... No, there was a club here called the Sandys Club. It used to be called the Londoners Club back in the old days. This used to be a massive club. It used to hold 5,000 people. They knocked that down about... Tw- here on this? Here. This was all Sandys. Big club. It was from there all the way to there. And it was a nightclub. It was a social club. And it used to have 5,000 people in it. Okay. But then, because no people come to Jobbik anymore, because it wasn't a holiday resort anymore, because they turned it into whatever they turned it into, then they had to shut that down as well. But, you know, it's life, it, it goes on. But ladies and gentlemen, I can still show you today the Mermaid Inn. How about that? Yeah. And you are so lucky to see this iconic building. Let me walk you down this road and show you some more buildings. Look, yeah. this used to be an amusement. You know the machines I told you about? Yeah. This used to be an amusement here. Shut down again, look. We used to have, we used to have a bakery. We used to have a tobacconist. Yeah. We used to have a, a fishmonger's. We used to have a butcher's. All along this road. How many shops do you see now? None. Not none. So can you, and in my lifetime, these are all open. Yeah. So how do you think I feel? Yeah. And I know, and I know what Joe it could be returned to. It's like a nightmare. Take a look. This used to be a butcher's. This used to be a grocer's. This used to be a shop. We've even got a Jaywick casino. Come and look. <laughs> yeah, do you believe me? Look. Look through that window, ladies. Look, Jaywick Casino. Look through that window. Stand on there, look through that window. Go on, stand up and then look through the window. What do you see? Wow. What do you think? It's awful. <laughs> you have a look. Yeah. <laughs> it's awful. It's awful. I'm it's a ghost roof. town. The roof has come down. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, the change. I used to go in there when I was 11 and 12 and I've had to watch this all fall down in my lifetime and I want to restore it. That is my dream. Restore the casino. Restore the whole of Jaywick to the holiday resort that I know Jaywick is. Do you not, you you agree with me? Yeah. yeah. And it can be done, can't it? Let me show my fans. Yes, this is, this is the regeneration of Jaywick. So we've got the Jaywick Community Resource Centre over here. Come over, I'll give you a tour. Welcome to me and my beautiful friends, Sarah and Anna, that have come all the way from Switzerland to write a positive report about Jaywick and me. 
Is that right, ladies? We write a report. <laughs> oh, whatever. We love you. We love you, ladies. Shine on. And that is what we do do, what we can do, what we shall do, people. Make the most of our life and shine Jay Week on. Mwah, I love you. Whatever. Yes. <laughs>